Hello, my name is Ray and I'm an Outrix consultant from Trident. Today in this video, I'll be showing you how to use the download tool to retrieve some data from a specified URL for use downstream. First, let's drag and drop this tool into the canvas. You see here in the settings on the left side that it is looking for a URL field to be specified. This can be done using either the input data tool or the text input tool, which we'll be using here. Today, we'll be downloading a CSV file containing some school data from data.gov.au. Let's copy this link containing the location of the file and paste it into a text input tool. More settings can be specified in the download tool, such as the HTTP headers or HTTP actions, which will be performed when requesting the data, as well as username and password if you're trying to access a secured URL. We will leave those blank for today and add a browse tool to the canvas. Let's run this workflow. As you can see here, we have three fields in the output. The first field, which has the URL used to download the data. Download data, which has all the data from the CSV file we have just requested. And download headers, which has the headers we used during the connection. Although the download tool is a really powerful tool, as not only it can be used to download CSV files, it can also be used to download text or even tables available in any web pages. But as you can see here, all the data is condensed into one single field, one single row. So in order to make this data useful downstream, or if you like to save this data into a file or in a database, we'll need to do some data preparations. The first tool that we can use in the data preparation step is the text to columns tool. This is a very really useful tool to split text from one field into multiple rows or columns. Let's add it to the workflow. We would like to first split the data to rows. The field to split will be download data and the delimiter will be a line break, which is represented by backslash n in Outrix. Let's run the workflow and look at the results. Here, the download data field is split into multiple rows with the first row being the original name of the CSV data set, followed by the data. We'll need to add one more text to column tool here, this time splitting to columns. We have 18 columns in this data set. Field to split will still remain download data and the delimiter will be a comma since it is a comma separated file. We will also like to tick the ignore delimiters in quotes option so that the commas in quotes will be ignored. Let's run the workflow one more time. Now, from here, download data one to download data 18, we have 18 fields from the original CSV file. But as you can see, there's still one more problem as the field name is not displayed correctly. We would like to have school name instead of download data one and so on. So here we can use a tool called dynamic rename. Instead of using a select tool and renaming the fields one by one, then removing the first row, we can directly use this tool to select the first row of data to be used as the field names. I'll just untick those first three fields which are not used anymore and run the workflow. Now, as you can see, we have the correct field names, school name, 2015 students, first time FTE, and so on. Finally, we can add a select tool to remove the first three fields. Now, the data that we have is identical to the original CSV file downloaded from the URL and it is now ready to be used downstream or be saved in a file or database. Thanks for watching this video.